are the authors of the fun, animal-fact-filled book, Wow in the Wild, The Amazing World of Animals. I'd like to welcome Mindy Thomas and Guy Raz to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Lori. Hi. So your book, Wow in the Wild, The Amazing World of Animals, was actually inspired by your podcast, Wow in the World. Uh, let's hear how it all started. Mindy, tell us a little bit about the story of how you both came together to create and host the podcast, Wow in the World. Well, uh, Guy and I started off as mutual fans of each other without knowing it. We met over Twitter, as people do, and uh, Guy started hosting a, a little kids science segment on my morning show on Sirius XM, a show I do for kids. And we did that for a couple of years and realized it was that we had something there, that, that kids were really engaged in the world of science and we wanted to do it in a bigger way and make the segment its own show. And so five years ago, we did just that when we launched Wow in the World. Awesome, awesome. So Guy, tell me a little bit about the book, Wow in the Wild, The Amazing World of Animals. And what did you enjoy most about creating this book? You know, it's we like to think of it as sort of like a field trip through the animal kingdom. I mean, there are literally millions of animal species on planet Earth, and we had to narrow it down to, to you know, still many, but but not all of them. But we were able to really find and focus on incredible stories around animals and and in the animal kingdom. And what's amazing is that it's all around us every day. I mean, for example, you could think of a cheetah. A cheetah is the fastest land animal, and it can literally change direction midair when it's chasing its prey. Or, or a, a, a baby giraffe can run at full speed within an hour of being born. And there's a reason why all of this happens. Is there's an evolutionary reason why all of these animals can do these things to protect themselves and to survive. And as we were compiling this book, we ourselves were discovering all of these incredible things that we were got so excited about sharing with kids and, and grownups. You know, it's funny because I, I've heard you mention before that you wanna get people excited about exploring nature and in and, and animals. And in just you telling me about yeah. a cheetah changing direction mid air immediately, I wanna go and look it up and see what that right, looks I like. Know. <laughs> so here's a fun question, and this is actually gonna be for both of you. Uh, we'll start with you, Mindy. Um, of all the animals that you've talked about, be it in Wow in the Wild or Wow in the World, uh, which animal do you feel has a personality most similar to yours? Oh, you know, I I honestly think I, I'm a bit of a bee I, or, or any kind of pollinator. So I I like to, um, you know, uh, go around and, and, and give and, and receive, give and take and spread information and connect people and connect kids to amazing things. So I think I'm a, I'm a bit of a bumblebee. That's oh, a, I, I think that's that. really, yeah. Yeah, Mindy, I think that's a great description, actually. You are, yeah, and in, the, in a great way. It's a great, it's a great animal to be. I would say I'm like a combination sometimes um, bear, sometimes um, cat, and sometimes t golden tamarind monkey. Just a combination of all three. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So maybe it depends like on the day of the week or like what mood or. <laughs> depends on the day of the week, how I slept, you know. That is fantastic. So uh, one last question before we wrap. And again, this is another question for both of you. Uh, what do you enjoy most about the work that you do? Oh, I would say uh, it's the reaction that we get from kids. When we have our live shows, we just did a live show in Chicago. And when kids come up to us after the show and tell us that they want to be a scientist, we've got little girls, we've got boys, and telling us that they have an invention or they, they have some fact to share with us, that is the most rewarding part of doing any of this. It's, it's the kids and, and knowing that, that we're inspiring them, that, that, not that we're inspiring them, the scientists that are doing the work that we're sharing is inspiring this in kids and it's amazing. And I think also to, to piggyback on that, Lori, it's, it's the grownups in the kids' lives who are also engaging with their kids, listening together to our shows because our shows, our books, 
what we do is not designed just for the kid audience. It's designed for their grownups as well because their grownups also need to be entertained and educated and inspired around science, just like Mindy and I need to be educated and inspired around science. And so when we see that connection between the kids and the adults around them, around what we do, it just, it just makes us so joyful. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, both of you are great. I had such a great time speaking with you today. Uh, sadly, we are out of time. But again, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you so much for having us. That was Mindy Thomas and Guy Raz. Be sure to get your copy of their book, Wow in the Wild, The Amazing World of Animals. Think of a cheetah. A cheetah is the fastest land animal and it can literally change direction mid-air when it's chasing its prey. I don't know about you guys, but I had no idea that cheetahs could do that. Or is that like a common knowledge thing? I don't know. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I think I'm gonna try that out. Changing direction mid-air. I feel like the best time to do that or like the best opportunity to do that would be like off a diving board, right? Actually, no. I don't know how that would work out. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did during that interview. If you missed any of today's interview, you can catch the entire interview on our website at sidewalkstv.com. That's it for me, guys. I'm out of here. I will see you next time. Take care.